I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button so that you can get further info and updates on videos. As you can see, we're going to be talking about a mother killed and daughter shot in enterprise attack. So around 6.20 a.m. this morning, Alana Bell and her daughter was in the driveway about to reverse out of the driveway when they were ambushed by a gunman who surrounded the car and opened fire upon them. Alana was shot dead while her daughter was shot in the abdomen and is now warded in hospital. So people as you can see, these criminals are going out of their way to cause destruction. 6.20 in the morning, they are up and out looking for prey looking for people to take their life god knows what took place with the situation what caused this we don't know if someone pay for her to be assassinated or this could have been some type of relationship situation some boyfriend ex-boyfriend that that couldn't deal with the fact that she don't want to be with him anymore because as you can see on the picture this is a beautiful lady she looks beautiful and it's sad to see that she's gonna lose her life and her daughter now 14 years old is gonna have to grow up without her mother and deal with the trauma the trauma of going through us situation like this the police also said that neighbors claim they saw a white cedar driving away it's sad to know that this is what trinidad has come to no one cares anymore no one cares about life no one cares about taking life it's like people just out here dealing up with all kind of wrong activities and destruction everywhere you see it every single day you can see it's some type of problem going on and it's sad these young youths are picking up this lifestyle and glorifying this gangster life and in on, on this journey of becoming this gangster they want to be they taking innocent people lives what could this woman have done to deserve to be taken out this way it's sad i'm beginning to think that in trinidad have contract killings seems like it's either some type of agency or something the, the, these 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 people are paying youths or paying people from other countries venezuela or whatever other country that comes to Trinidad to live and this is the jobs they're picking up so they go just going heartless because this is a job to them 6.20 in the morning this is a job you got some people that can't even make it to work on time for 6 o'clock or 6.30 but 6.20 these gunmen wake up out of the bed and, and, and say you know what I gotta go and take care of the handle this situation they have to be getting paid this is sad Trinidad need to stop this need to stop youths change all their ways give up this gangster life give it up y'all that's causing problems and guess what the police is going to do when they catch on to all you they're going to wet all you they're going to do all the same way they do these innocent victims and People go come and cry out and say, oh God, look what they do to him. But guess what? Think about this young lady that lost her life. Think about her daughter that lost her mother. Think about her, her sister that lost her sister. Think about her family members, her friends. People, this is not the way. This could have happened to anybody, daughter, anybody, sister, anybody, wife. 
this lady's get got up in the morning to take her daughter probably to school her daughter is only 14 so she get up in the morning to take her daughter to school as soon as she reversing out of the house the gunmen approach the car riddle the car put her inside of it thank god her daughter survive and we're gonna have to pray that the daughter could get over the situation and be able to function in life after this tragic situation here people at trinidad and tobago people who care about you subscribe and share for the hot topics